Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ABAP programming and as a part of ABAP programming, we will go for the next topic and our next topic is joins. Now, what is join? With the help of join, we can fetch data or we can say we can access data from multiple tables in a single select statement. Means by writing a single query, we can fetch data from multiple tables. We can access data from multiple tables. Suppose if you remember in the previous examples, what we did at a time, we are fetching data from single table. We have written individual, individual queries. We have fetched data from order header table. Then we fetched data from order item table. Means at a time, we are fetching data from single table. We are writing individual, individual queries. Now, rather than writing the individual, individual queries, we will write a single query and in that query, we will fetch the data from multiple tables. If I will talk about our current scenario, in a single query itself, we will fetch data from order header table and order item table. Now the first question comes into everyone mind. Yes, we should go for individual individual queries means we should use for all entries in or we should go for join. It is totally, totally dependent on the database database. If you are using traditional databases, if your system has a traditional database, tradi now the question comes, what do you mean by traditional database? If you have Oracle database, if you have DB2 database, if you have Sybase database, so these all are called as traditional databases. Whenever you have traditional databases, always, always avoid join. In that case, you should write individual, individual query means you should use for all entries in at that point of time if you have traditional databases. But if you have HANA database, always, always prefer join. Now, if you have traditional databases like Oracle, DB2, Cybis, always, always fetch, always write the queries in such a way that at a time you are fetching that data from single, single table. Suppose we fetch data from order header table, then we used for all entries in to fetch that data from item table. But if we have HANA database, always, always prefer join. Now the question comes, what is the problem with traditional databases? Why we should not use join? Okay. See, in case of join, what we are doing, we are giving collective load to the database means we are writing a single query and we are passing so many tables. We are fetching data from so many tables collectively. So in case of traditional databases, the load will be more on the system, more on the database. So we should always, always avoid join whenever you have traditional databases. Whenever you will use for all entries in, in this query, in this query, at a time we are fetching data from single database table. It means we are giving the load of one table. We are load, we are fetching the data from single table at a time. So traditional databases support that. But HANA, HANA is a very powerful database itself. So in that case, yes, 
but sap is saving saying give me the collective load no problem at all so in traditional databases avoid join but if you have hana database prefer join in the future we have a topic best performance practices or guidelines at that time also this concept is fully fully explained at that point of time now how you can check your database you can simply simply go for system status from here itself you can check i have hana database you can check your database but no problem from the learning perspective we should learn both we should learn join also we should learn for all entries in also now we will come on to the types of join at this point of time yes we will cover two types of joins first one is your inner join and second one is the outer join now what is inner join and what is outer join firstly we will start with inner join an inner join find and return the matching record from the tables based upon specified condition whenever we will go for inner join the matching word is very very important whatever the matching data is there between the tables we will only only get those records matching word is extremely important in inner join so inner join always always return the matching records between the two tables yes now if there is no conditions met suppose we are giving some condition and condition is not fulfilled at that time no record will be there we will get the blank result so what is inner join inner join always always returns the matching data between the tables whatever the data is matching is based upon the condition whatever the condition you are specifying it is not the case that it will return everything matching if i am giving 1 to 5 as a input so it will check for 1 to 5 only that's why i am saying based upon specified condition only if based upon the condition nothing is matching so we will not get anything in the result set no records will be there in the result set now what is outer join outer join outer join finds and returns matching data and non matching data also this is the main main difference between inner join and outer join with the help of one word itself you can predict if someone ask what is inner join you can simply say it will return the matching records between the tables and outer join will return the matching as well as non matching records also once we will do the practical you will automatically get a clarity now outer join is further of two types first one is left outer join and the second one is right outer join sometimes people will simply say left join and right join also so your understanding should be that person is talking about left outer join or right outer join if someone is only using the word left join and right join your understanding should be they are the person is talking about left outer join and right outer join now what is left outer join the left outer join take all the values from the left table and combine them with the values from the right table 
the simple simple word itself is saying left outer joint suppose i am saying i have a table a at the left hand side i have table b at the right hand side so what the left outer joint will do it will take all the records from the left hand side table and the matching and after that it will combine with the records of the table which is at the right hand side right hand side so it will take everything which is at the left hand side it will take each and every record from the left hand side table and after that it will combine with the table which is on the right hand side now right outer joint what right outer joint will do it will take all the values from the right table firstly it will take all the values from the right table then it will combine with the left table then it will combine it is very important to understand the difference between inner joint and outer joint inner joint always always return find and return the matching records between the tables yes if no records are matching it will only only give the zero record in the output now outer joint outer joint returns matching as well as non matching record both now we have two types of outer joint left outer joint and right outer joint left outer left outer joint the see the difference firstly it will take all the records of left hand side table then it will combine with that table which is at the right hand side in case of right outer joint it will take all the records which is on the all the records of the table which is on the right hand side then it will combine with the left hand side yes depends upon the condition if i am giving 1 to 10 order number it means it will only only look for order number 1 to 10 now what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with join now what is join in case of join we fetch data from multiple tables using single select query now the question comes we should go for join what at what time or we should go for join for what or we should go for for all entries in if you have traditional databases always go for for all entries in fetch data from one table at a time because we should not give collective load to the database but if you have hana database always always prefer join so we have two types of join inner join and outer join inner join always always returns the matching record between the tables if no record are matching nothing the result set will be completely zero outer join returns the matching as well as the non matching record we have two types of outer join left outer join right outer join left outer join sometimes people will simply use the word left join right outer join people will simply use the word sometimes right join left outer join take all the records of the table which is on the left hand side then combine with the right hand side table yes based upon the condition this word is very important because people think the table has 1 lakh record so it will take all 1 lakh records of the left hand side table no whatever the where condition you are passing now in case of right outer join right outer join it will take all the records of the table which is on the right hand side and then it will combine with the records which is on the left hand side table 
Now, for right outer joint, we always, always require new syntaxes. So whenever we will cover the new syntaxes, we will go for right outer joint also. As of now, I will show you inner joint also. I will show you left outer joint also. Because if I will show you the new syntaxes, you will not understand at this point of time. So whenever we will cover the new syntaxes, at that time we cover right outer joint also. Because previously SAP has only only inner joint and left outer joint. After that, yes, we have the concept of right outer joint also. Now SAP is supporting right outer joint also. Previously, SAP has only inner joint and left outer joint. In the next video, we will go for a full diagram for order header and order item table. We will understand this concept fully through diagram. Then we will proceed with the logic part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.